ayan. Let's just stay in the center. Ako naman mahul. Oh my goodness. You host na laglag. Okay. Alam mo na yan, Troilan. Thank you for being there for me. Now this part, ako ang gumawa ng going na hulog, ganyan, para hindi sila mananervous. You know, malaking palita yan. Si Diana, na hulog. <laughs> And anyway, almost, almost. you're, you're this, always safe with me. Yeah, thank you. That winning a pageant is the most important part of the competition. Thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. Each, each candidate here desire, desires to win the competition. But I believe that it is not the most important What the most important is the sportsmanship. Because of sportsmanship, it is where you it is where you get your strength on how to adopt your your advocacy and charity in life. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Candidate number 17, Lord Jessa Rodell Campano. Okay, so now we have your question. Good luck, Nara. What do you think is your role in shaping up the future development of the city of Iligan? Again, what do you think is your role in shaping up the future development of the city of Iligan? Good evening, everyone. I am right here, right now, standing in front of you, proving myself worthy for the crowd. And the reason why I am joining this pageant is not just because of it, not just because of the money or the fame, but also my willingness to help. So my role in shaping the future is that I will implement or organize my advocacy. And that advocacy is dissemination of information gained through education with the use of social media. Yes, I do believe that it is not. Yes, I do believe that it is not a big step, but I also believe that small things came from. Uh, wait a minute. Big things starts from small beginnings. So thank you. All right, thank you very much, Dorothea Hazel Ding Ding. Visit Elegant City again. Why would anyone want to visit Elegant City? Thank you for that question. Good evening, Iligan. Okay, why would anyone visit Iligan? As we all know, Iligan is a place where you can see peace. Though Iligan City is not a perfect place, but it is a place where you can see a perfect memories. Iligan City where different people, where different cultures getting together and never be afraid to judge because they know they are respected. And I believe that the greatest asset of Iligan City is their people. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Candidate number 15, responsible for your choices and actions. Again, do you think you are responsible for your choices and actions? All right, so good evening, Iliganons. Um, personally, I think that we indeed are responsible for our choices and decisions. Because ladies and gentlemen, religiously speaking, since I am a uh, Roman Catholic, we are given the gift of freedom. Uh, the gift of freedom by God and we have we do not have this merely as a gift but as an, but as an obligation also of course by law we are a democratic country and we have we have to be law-abiding citizens although we have the freedom to express ourselves the freedom right to freedom rather and however even though we have this We are also citizens of this democratic, democratic country, rather, which have um, various laws that we need to abide. That would be all. Thank you. All right. So, law-abiding citizen. Thank you very much, Ken. What do you think is the most unusual thing about your family? Again? What do you think is the most unusual thing about your family? 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think the unusual thing about my family is that we're so positive, we're so happy-go-lucky despite of everything that we've been through in life. We've been through in doubts and in tears. I'm not saying that you're not, your family is not positive, but what I'm saying is that we're so into united. We use that, um, we use that, um, you use that unity to us. We have the personality. We stay positive despite of everything we've been through. And uh, think wise. And of course, you use that. In society, in a global community that grows more and more competitive each and every day, bronze are not the only key to success. But I think the key to success lies more in the brain today and I think that's one of the greatest equalizers that modern society has afforded to us ladies and gentlemen so given that I think the ideal man for me is a man of intellect and one who is not only aware of the things happening in society but is also compassionate enough to actually care about these issues and to be incorruptible in his morals just like me to tackle these issues with the privilege that he possesses. Thank you. Alright, thank you very much. To our pieces that serve as a life opener to our society, just like Ptolemy Tangere, El Filibusterismo, my last farewell, and many more. Second one, he is our hero, for he is charismatic and intelligent, for he show his love, not just to our country, but even to his people. And last, he is an aspiration, who denounces the injustice of the Philippines and serve as the reason of our independence today. And Jose Rizal makes me as an inspiration to be a good role model in our society, to be a hero and to do all my things, even a little way. So with you all, thank you very much. This is good. Why? Because it is implemented to aware each and every one of us. And if we are aware, it will help us to overcome every intervention that would rapidly our amplitude will minimally bloom and flicker and prosper of luster. Thank you. Think the three characteristics. Think the three characteristics of a uh, Miss Elegant should possess. She should be a true epitome of a God-fearing woman, a compassionate heart, and of course, a loving candidate. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that to be a Miss Eliga, it's not just about your physical appearance, how tall you are, and how good your body is. I believe that if you have a good heart to serve Eliganos, then you can be the next Miss Eliga 2018. And I believe that I have that characteristic. A characteristic to be the next Miss Eliga 2018. Thank you! Good luck to you. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For me, we are Filipino. We, we must not do that. Man is supposed to propose for us, right? And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, we are open for changes. But, ladies and gentlemen, there are just things that should, be, uh, should stay in its unique way. And it's our culture and it's a uh, part of our being Filipina. So if we broke that thing, if we do propose to a man, I think that degraded our society and us being feminine. Thank you.